Hello everyone, I'm Jun Suzuki, a PI of Institute for Integrated Cell Material Sciences. We call this institute ISEMS. I also belong to Graduate School of Biostudy and educate you. The goal of my laboratory is to understand the principle of a cellular system and apply the obtained knowledge to human. So how to see cells from our side? is that cells establish the asymmetric distribution of substances across membrane. And then when the environmental changes occur, cells adapt to it by altering the asymmetric distribution quickly. But how cells do it, no one knows. In the case of iron, three potassium is exported while two potassium is incorporated and maintain membrane potential. Also, calcium is exported then 10,000 concentration differences occur. When cells are activated, sodium and calcium are incorporated quickly and the cells are activated. But not only ions, lipids are asymmetrically distributed. In the case of lipid, phosphatidylserine, here after I just call PS, normally locating to the inner side of the membrane, but when cells are activated, PS is exposed on the cell surface. Exposed PS functions as a scaffold for coagulation factors when bleeding occurs and also e me signal of dead cells. However, how PS is exposed on the cell surface has been unknown for decades. PS normally locates to the inner side of the membrane using energy by FLIPase, ATP dependent protein. When cells are activated, Scramblers, which transport lipids bidirectionally and non specifically need to be activated. Although the existence of scramblers was suggested about decades ago, it's around the 1980s. No one identified it. So I start my research to identify scramblers, but to identify scramblers, specific approach is required. So we utilize unbiased screening approaches, such as CDN library screening, CRISPR short guide on the library screening, and protein interaction screening. Using these screening techniques, finally, we obtain long sought after scramblers. And currently, we are working on to review how these scrambling proteins regulate lipid scrambling, by various approaches. So starting from research in removal of dead cell, now we interested in renovation. Renovation is a key concept to understand the tissue and cell homeostasis. When renovation is disrupted, human diseases occur. So renovation can be classified into two parts. One is tissue renovation that is dynamic equilibrium between removal of unwanted cells and generation of new cells. Another one is a cellular renovation, that is dynamic equilibrium between removal of unwanted materials or compartment in living cells and generation of new ones. In the case of neurons, for example, they cannot die easily because they cannot proliferate. In that case, part of unwanted parts can be eliminated through engulfment or probably by exosomes. But how such processes are regulated, no one knows. We try to understand it using unbiased screening approaches. Although renovation is quite important and in our body, daily renovation will be regulated, but still cells cannot eliminate unwanted cells or material. In that case, artificial elimination is quite important. Artificial elimination is a key concept to help cellular system to eliminate unwanted cells and materials. Now, we try to establish a modality which can eliminate unwanted cells and materials through our body. By eliminating unwanted cells and materials, Perhaps even disease can be prevented. That is our final goal. 
So fundamental science or basic research is quite important. However, only doing the basic, it's not far from human. So currently, we are collaborating with several pharmaceutical companies to try to generate pharmaceutical drugs toward the diseases. Also, we established on-site laboratory in Taiwan because Taiwan is so strong in ap application. So from basic to application, we try to achieve our research. So to achieve great science, diversity and inclusion are quite important. Currently, we have seven international students. However, we want to welcome more international students to the great science together and explore the new field of science. Please welcome to our laboratory. Thank you.